I'm extremely privileged and pleased to address the Concordia Summit, uh, inaugural part of which I had the honor to attend last year. Um, I'm very pleased to welcome from here, from my, from my country's capital, Nick Logotetis and Matt Swift, the co-founders, great guys, of, absolutely great guys and the co-founders of that summit, as well as I'm very pleased that the summit is attended and addressed by our two great champions, two great friends uh, of Georgia and friends of mine, Bill Clinton and uh, John McCain. Uh, well, we are certainly, I was very thrilled to be there last year. Um, this time, in four days time, we have uh, a very important parliamentary elections here in Georgia. So that's keeping me away from attending the summit. But from the center of our capital, I want to say, I would like to say a few words. I know you have an amazing crowd there, so it's always uh, nice to share our experiences. Um, the World Bank has recently published study chronicling Georgia's experience of fighting with corruption. It's a long study and they've told me actually that the first time ever the World Bank has published a study on actually solving the issue of corruption in any particular country. They have done many studies on the problem, the very problem of corruption. And uh, I think the, big, the most heartening conclusion of that study is that there is nothing inherently cultural about corruption that there are no countries or societies that are beforehand doomed to be corrupt, neither for religious reason or for cultural reasons or for historical background. Well, Georgia was, was one of the most corrupt, one of the most criminalized countries, not only of this part of the world, but generally of the world. And we turned it around in the last several years. Georgia right now, in terms of criminal rate, is the safest country in Europe, according to the European Union one of the safest in the world. It used to be full of organized crime and uh, all kind of uh, criminal traditions. And Georgia is uh, the least corrupt country of Europe according to the latest study of the European Union. We are still not a rich country, but we are a country where public institutions function transparently, where people trust this institution that has only been achieved, all the things I mentioned, through, mass, through very active participation of NGOs, civil society, consensus in the society, and strong political will of not just one leader, but the whole political leadership, the whole group of committed idealists. Well, you know, we don't have oil and gas in large numbers, so some of the people might be disappointed. Maybe it's not an interesting country after all, but this is the country that is extremely well located strategically and that has built for the last several years amazing new cities without oil and gas income, amazing new infrastructure. Um, it has become, we have, we, we've enjoyed solid economic growth, uh, double digit for many years and this year despite the world economic crisis will go up to 8%. And the main thing what we have is the upbeat mood of the society and the whole mental revolution that took place in this rather forgotten part of the world in the past. So from that point of view, that's exactly we have now. Right now we have an ads running on international networks saying Georgia unbeatable energy of freedom. Well, that's exactly what it is all about. The fact that we are growing, the fact that we are progressing, the fact that we want to be part of this new emerging world as a free-loving democratic nation, exactly the main source for that is this unbeatable energy of freedom, that despite the foreign invasions, despite all kind of pressures, despite all kind of complexities, despite all kind of shortcomings and mistakes which are unavoidable in any democratic process, we, we are moving on and will continue to progress also in the years um, we, we ahead. And that's my deep conviction. Again, hello all of you guys, and I wish you all the best. I'm looking forward to deliberations and conclusions of your summit. Welcome the two co-founders, Matthew Swift and Nicholas Logothetis. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you for being here. Um, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the second annual Concordia Summit. We are honored and very humbled by your presence here today. Concordia is a young organization, 
but one with high aspirations. We are here today to explore, promote, and expand upon the importance of public-private partnerships. Matt and I started Concordia in the hope that the organization would at very least never waste people's time. We have designed our program today with that goal in mind. We strongly believe that one of this summit's most valuable assets is our participants and supporters, all of you. With that in mind, we have tried very hard, wherever possible, to make this as interactive a summit as we can. You will have the opportunity to ask questions of some of the most important leaders of our time, including Senator John McCain, President Alvaro Uribe, and President Bill Clinton. Please make sure to submit your questions via the index cards that were given to you at registration before 2 p.m. today, and also include your name and where you're from so we can acknowledge you. You can also message your questions directly to Matt or myself using the app, uh, the iTouch that you were hopefully given at check-in, um, which will be, you'll given, be given a short tutorial in a few minutes, so you can know how to do that. Concordia was founded two years ago in the hopes of becoming a bridge between the public and private sectors. We have asked some of the world's foremost practitioners of excellence in public-private partnerships to speak to the summit today to further illustrate in no uncertain terms that when government and business work together, we all benefit. We are confident that you will enjoy hearing from their experiences. Thank you once again for your willingness to support such a young and involving organization. We will continue to work as hard as we can to convert the combined brain power, innovation and goodwill in this room and others into tangible results that you can be proud of. Thank you.